Hi, I'm Dr. Sam, helping you get closer to great skin days. Now, this video is for all you busy mums out there and I promise you it'll be a short and efficient one. So recently we asked Instagram, if you're a mum, what are your big bugbears when it comes to doing a proper skincare routine? And the key concern was a lack of time and the key issue were the signs of fatigue. And I think we all understand where that's coming from. I see patients in the clinic every day who come back maybe six, 12 months after their last pregnancy. You know, it's like, put me back together again, Sam. My skin has lost its glow. I'm not getting any sleep and I have no time. What can I do? So I thought I would put together a number of simple but effective cheats to getting your glow back. Now, the first step to bear in mind is that for most of you, your, port, your time pour in the morning. So it's about making your nighttime routine really work for you. And for me, that means finding a multitasking serum that contains actives that target your key concerns, because that means one layer is going to do multiple things for your skin. Now, what that also means is that you should strip out unnecessary steps in your skincare routine at night to create space for your active, which might potentially cause some irritation at the start. So we're all about ruthless efficiency. So I would say eliminate unnecessary eye creams, toners, masks, brushes, things that don't really serve a major role in getting your glow back, but can actually take up space and more importantly, time. Now, the great thing about making your nighttime really work for you is that in the morning, you can literally wash and go. When I say go, I mean put on sunscreen. But if you seek out a product like a tinted sunscreen, which can do triple duty, not just double duty, because it can function if you choose the right one as a moisturizer, and it can also double up as foundation or some form of coverage. Again, particularly helpful if you're suffering from pigmentation as a consequence of your pregnancy. So find products that serve you and do multiple things, and you'll find that your morning goes without a hitch, no problems with layering and no pilling, things that often make the morning routine take up more time than you can afford. The next thing is to think about actors that suit your time in life. So it's important to be aware that if you're currently pregnant on pregnancy number two or three or four, that you weed out actors that aren't appropriate for that period of time. And that means no more retinoids, guys. So seek out safe alternatives like azelaic acid and niacinamide to help curb a tendency to break out pigmentation and keep that clarity and glow going through pregnancy. You don't have to suffer. So step number three is to deep dive into ingredients that really help you get your glow on. Now the reason for this is, whilst most of us worry about this area around the eye as showing signs of fatigue, it's hard to treat. But if you do a good job making all of this glow, people won't go looking for the dark circles. Only you and I will know they're there. So you can trick the eye into believing someone is more rested than they actually are. Now, my top three ingredients for getting your glow on are number one, retinoids. Not for those who are actually pregnant, but for everyone else, retinoids are fine. Number two is niacinamide, which will help you tolerate your retinoid better, but also boost barrier function, help with pigmentation, and even help with those dark marks following from blemishes. So it's a great multitasker. Number three is some form of acid. Now it can be azelaic acid, which is great for pigmentation and redness, alpha hydroxy acids, which are gentle natural exfoliants like glycolic, and lactic acid or even salicylic acid if you're prone to blemishes. So those are ingredients that will really serve you and many of them will happily formulate together quite happily. So my final step is that if those dark circles still bother you, and I know for many that will still be the case, the way to look at the eye area, I think, is to use active ingredients all over that you can extend into the eye area. I'm not much one for dedicated eye creams unless they offer something specific to the eye area that is not appropriate for the rest of the face. When we look at active ingredients like vitamin C and niacinamide, they're entirely appropriate for use all over. So you don't need to spend macho dollars on high priced eye creams whenever you can use an all over product and just extend it to include the under eye area.
Now, the one exception I would make when it comes to treating dark circles is vitamin K, which tends to be only beneficial around the eye area. And I do find that to be quite helpful in dark circles that are not responding to vitamin C, niacinamide, and good hydration. So there you have it, some time-saving tips, ways to make your routine more efficient, more effective, and high powered. And I really do hope that helps your day run a bit more smoothly. Bye for now.